Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Earth video. In my last video I stated I was probably going to continue playing Minecraft Earth since I had a good time with what there was, and I did. I also remembered seeing something about Minecraft Earth while I was in a Target a while back. So uh, I checked their app and found out Microsoft decided to make Minecraft Earth amiibos. I mean most minis. So I did what any person would do and went to my nearest Target and bought a Boost Mini for $4.99 US just to see what they were all about. So Boost Minis are Minecraft Earth's toy to life figures where they grant the user a set bonus for a 10 minute period. They use an NFC chip like an amiibo and can be scanned to your phone if your phone is capable of doing so. For iOS it works on iPhone 6 and up and for Android the Minecraft site tells you to go check your connection settings to see if NFC reading is on. And that's a quote from the official Minecraft Help Center. It worked for my Galaxy S8 just fine, and I looked into it, and around the S4 and S5 they added the ability to read NFC, so do with that what you will. For other Android phones, just search the name and can it read NFC or do the connection thing. Once you do have a toy and a capable phone, you can go in-game to the Boost tab off of the map screen and get to the Boost menu. Here you can put on all the boosts you have, or go a tab over to use your Boost minis. This is where you can see all the available figures and scan yours in. It also tells you what each does so you know before you buy, I guess because it does not mention it on the packages in store. And I did not know what boosts the ones in store were going to have when I went to buy one, so I just assumed the one with the crafting table was going to be for something crafting related. And I turned out to be right, but later in this video I do take a look at each of them and show what they all do. So once you scan it in it will count as an active boost and the 10 minute timer will start. You also get 100 XP for your first scan of a figure, which is nice, but not the biggest thing in the world. Also, they have a 24 hour cooldown after a use. So that's one use per figure, and you can have up to five boosts going at once. I feel like the timer is pretty fair since it would completely take over the other boosts you can get that you have to pay rubies for. And on the topic of comparing these figures to the token boost, the token boosts come in three tiers tier one, tier two, tier three. Tier 1's last 10 minutes, Tier 2's last 15 minutes, and Tier 3's last 30 minutes. And each one affects getting stronger slash higher multiplier as they go up. To get these you'll need to pay with rubies. You can either get those from saving up the rubies or from spending real life money. You can also get the Tier 1's from your daily rewards or completing seasonal challenges. Seasonal challenges you can also get higher tiered ones, I've seen the gold ones are in the pools for some of the challenges you can do. And the boosts are one and done, so that's no recharge like the figures. Like mentioned earlier, a single figure that gives a tier 1 boost costs 499 US. And I looked at a set of 3 tier 3 boosts and it cost 100 rubies. 100 rubies equals out to a 499 US as well. And you can get a stronger and longer lasting boost for the same price as the toy, but the boosts are one time use. This does still make the token boost viable, but if you're not wanting to constantly spend real life money on boost, you save a lot more over time using the figures. And some figures share the same boost, and if used at the same time, their time is added to each other, essentially being doubled, which can be really nice. This can be handy if you want to cut your smelting time or crafting time in half for 20 minutes as opposed to the 10 minutes and get more things in, but you can also use them split apart so you can just use one say in the morning and one later at night to basically have crafting at two different periods when you need it most. And as for ones that increase radius of being able to collect things or XP yield, attack damage and defense, those get their multiplier doubled onto each other so it'll be like a 200% boost instead of the 100% it initially gives. So in all, boost minis are a fun little amiibo knockoff that can serve a purpose in game and it's up to you if you want to get one and which ones you want to get. I personally think they are better than using your money on the in-game boost since the figures can be reusable and the difference between multipliers isn't too great most of the time and if you do want a higher multiplier you can always just get two figures and those being both reusable and usable at the same time makes them a better investment. If you like this video and want to see more Minecraft Earth content drop a like and a comment below letting me know and also if you're new consider subscribing. Other than that, thanks for coming out. 